has finally come. First of all, I upgraded my bookshelf. And second of all, it's time to decorate my Christmas bookshelf. So this is what we are currently working with. Now I have two full-sized bookshelves because I started running out of room. And my parents are visiting from Tennessee and they're like, you need a bigger bookshelf. This is actually a very funny story, how my mom and I got this bookshelf, how we even got it here. We were two girly pops struggling. We were like way struggling. Every time we were trying to put it into the cart, the cart kept moving. We would literally be trying to put it in and then it would just tap the cart and the cart would go, we're like, oh my gosh, um, help, please help us. It got here somehow. I have a whole stack of Christmas decoration. This right here for us to pick through and decorate the shelves, get it all nice and pretty, and I'm so excited. I say we take all of these books off of the shelf and let's make a stack. <laughs> Bookshelves. Of course, I'm going to be doing a Christmas bookshelf. And I have some Christmas books already that I'm excited to put up. For the other shelves, I have some good ideas. Like my Sarah J. Mass shelf, I really like this. I honestly like these shelves a lot on this one. But my Romance Color Coordinated shelf, I think it needs to be bigger. So at first, I was thinking Christmas books up here, but because of videos, you guys won't really be able to see it, and I kind of want it in the background. So I'm thinking we put the Christmas books more on this one. I just don't know how well that's going to look or work out, so I'm gonna play around with it. Good. Okay, so this is kind of the vision that I have right now. I don't know how it's going to actually look, but I've got some thrillers up here in mystery, which I really like actually. And I have so much fantasy that I don't know how to do it. I like these and I don't mind this, but I might put some fantasy up here.
this is what we are currently working with. Down here, I'm trying to figure out what to do because I've decided since these two shelves are kind of the center of the background for my YouTube videos, these are going to be the Christmas shelves. I'm just trying to figure out what to do because here are the Christmas books I have. I don't have that many, but I plan on getting maybe at least one more that I know of for sure for Christmas. But I've got some really cute decorations. I've got these down here and then I got this adorable little snowflake. This super cute little tree my grandma got me. I thought that would look so cute even up here. I don't know what looks good. Shelf. I don't know how to make it work with everything. All the knickknacks? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, okay. I think I think what you have on the shelf looks really good. I would say you're mm, two or three knickknacks away from it being not not a bookshelf to <laughs> now you sell antiques <laughs> at, in your own store. So, wow. But right now, it's good. so I, I would say don't add anything. <laughs> Okay, I think we've got the shelves figured out, which I'll show you in just a minute. There's one more thing I want to do. So my mom actually came up with this idea, and it's genius. So I'm going to put garland up top, and I'm actually going to put lights up there, and it's going to be so cute. So let's do that. Comment down below if you have any suggestions, anything you think I should change. You know, my whole knickknack thing. I like the the holiday knickknacks. So I put them on the shelf because I think they're cute. Let's begin the holiday bookshelf tour and my new bookshelf tour. Starting out on top of my bookshelves, I have this garland with really cute lights on top. You can't really see it all that well. That's what it looks like. It's so cute. I love it. Now onto the top shelf. Right up here, I've got all of my Harry Potter books. The spines of these books, when they're put together, shows a picture of Hogwarts, and it's absolutely beautiful. But for now, I kind of want to display the covers because I love the front covers as well. Now over here to the right side, I have The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. And then next to it, I have The Natural series. I only have the first two books, so eventually it'll look really good with the whole series right here. And then I just have my thrillers slash mystery slash cozy mystery. It's got it all right here. I really like having a dedicated shelf to my thrillers and mystery books. Now moving on to the second shelf. I am obsessed with this shelf. I love it so much. Starting off right here, I've got my Sarah J Mass shelf. 
I have the first book of Crescent City and then A Court of Thorns and Roses. I know it's backwards. I don't know. I just like it that way personally rather than like two reds and then I don't know if that makes sense but I like it this way and then right here I've got the Throne of Glass series. I love these covers so much. I love the spines. It's just very cohesive. That's honestly probably the most cohesive shelf that I have. And then to the right of it, we're continuing on with the whole fantasy. Right here I have Iron Flame and Fourth Wing. I have the first edition of Fourth Wing, so I definitely want to display the edges. I just have a cute little tree here and some more fantasy. These are mainly standalone fantasy books. So I kind of like them here, but there's really no rhyme or reason. I have Hunt on Dark Water. It's like a fantasy pirate romance sort of a thing. Then we've got The Night Circus, Trial of the Sun Queen. My mom and dad just got me this and it sounds absolutely amazing. And then Legends and Lattes, One Dark Window, Assistant to the Villain, and Ink Blood Sister Scribe. Now moving on to the third shelf. This shelf I'm so proud of, but I could definitely see if there are like airs in the color coding thing. Now my color coded shelf. I'm so proud of it. I'm gonna duck down so you guys can like really see the full effect. So cute! This has been my dream, like my vision for so long. This one I just have going from creams, whites to pinks and purples. And then I have like one or two. This one's like a black book. This one's dark blue. So I actually just put it right here. I thought it kind of transitions well into the blues. I really love this. This is all romance. Just so you guys can kind of see how it transitions over to this shelf. It carries on with the blues into green. And then it goes from greens to yellows to oranges and then red. And as you can tell, I have some empty space right here, which I actually really like. If I'm picking up like a romance book and I want it to be color coordinated like this, it's really nice to have some extra space. Now onto the Christmas shelves. Right here, I just have some Christmas books. Some I've already read, some I haven't. And then I have the cutest little flocked Christmas tree. Love these covers. The covers that I am obsessed with, I displayed. So I have a December to remember, meet me under the mistletoe. And then a couple more Christmas romances, a Christmas thriller. The cover's so cute. It's all I want for Christmas. It's another Christmas romance. Now over here, I actually wanted to keep my Stephanie Garber books right here. I love the covers. So I have Once Upon a Broken Heart, The Ballad of Never After. This is so cute. My grandma got me this. It says Fairy Stones, so for now I have it on my shelf. And then I have this Snowflake bookmarks, TBR jar, and then Love Holly. This is another romance book, a little tree, and my Kindle. And then down here on the bottom shelf, it's a little bit more scarce. I have the Shatter Me series, just a little wicker Christmas tree, some more fantasy, and then the fantasy continues over to this shelf, and then just a few of my hardcovers. That is all for my winter bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love it. This one is my favorite one yet. I finally have more shelves for my books. I'm very happy about that. I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys!